So two polygons are congruent if, and actually only if, we can demonstrate that there's a series of transformation that maps one polygon onto the other. So I'd like for you to consider these two polygons. I've got um, two triangles, and uh, they certainly appear to be congruent, um, and they were constructed that way. But what your task is today in, in class is I want you to create a series of transformations that will map this blue triangle onto the other. So, for example, um, one of the things I, I think has to happen is I, I think even if I was to just spin this around and rotate it, I don't think it would line up correctly because I can see that this piece needs to go with this piece. Um, this piece needs to go with this piece, and this piece with this piece. So I think that I need to, to flip it or mirror it first. So what I'm actually going to do is I could take this triangle and I could mirror it across any of its sides. So I could create an exact mirror image. I'm going to choose to take this triangle and mirror it across this line. So this is going to be the line that I use to mirror this triangle. So this is the... Uh, it's the transformation menu and you can see this first option is reflect about a line. So what I, you do is you click what you want to reflect and then click your line of reflection. So right here my cursor is on this line and when I click uh, nothing happens. So let me try it again. Reflect this polygon. Oh there it goes. So I think maybe I had that backwards. But at this point now I can see that the orientation appears to be better because you can see I've got this side here and then going around this side matches here and then finally this side goes here. So looks better. Uh, the thing that I'm not happy with is that uh, it needs to be moved, right? And in fact what I want to do is I want to move this point to over to here. Um, I am going to recolor this object so if you right click it and hit object properties um, I'm going to hit uh, under color um, hmm, style. Well, let me see here. Let me try that again. Let me grab this. Look at the properties for the triangle color. Yeah, let me let me pick a different color and see. If it doesn't have to. It's not, all I'm doing is I'm changing the line color right now. Let me grab the move tool. Try and try this again. So I'm right clicking on this triangle and color. That's better. So I'm going to make this kind of this uh, grayish blue color, right? Because I want to see this is the thing that I'm moving. And as I move it, every single time I do another transformation, that last shape is going to stay behind. So the first thing I did is a reflection across this line. And now I'm going to translate by a vector. I'm going to translate it from this, this point I want to move to that point. So on my translation menu, oops. Uh, well, I need, a, I need a vector, right? One of the things is you can translate by a vector. And it looks like I could probably actually click point to point. Let me, let me try that. Um, so let me try this and see here. I know it says then select a vector. Let me try it. I'm going to go this, this polygon and I'm going to go from here. Oh, yeah, it, does, it allows me to drag a vector to there. So you can see what you do, right? Let me, let me undo that and show you that again. So what you do is, um, you don't have to pre-make the vector, it says translate by a vector. So I want to translate this triangle from here to here. So you can see it just slid it right over, no rotation, no reflection, just moved over. So we did a reflection and then we did a translation by this vector. I did undo the color change, it's, it's important to me that these, these colors be uh, different. So let me change that again. Color, look at this, like this grayish thing. Same thing with you. I'll make you this, um, this grayish thing. There we go. And I'll hide that. So the last thing that I need to do is I need to rotate this shape by a certain angle. And that's a little tough. Um, I, I know it needs to go needs to go counterclockwise and it just I just need to move the, rotate this point up to here um, uh, so, uh, let me, I think I have the ability to enter 
and oh, I'll do this. I can do a slider. That'll be nice. So I'll do a little slider. So if you hit the slider tool, you'll just you'll click it somewhere, and uh, I'm going to tell it that it is an angle, and I want to go from zero to 360 degrees, and I'm going to go by one degree in, in increments. So I'll click OK. So this now just uh, it's it's the letter alpha, but it allows me to change the angle that I'm going to rotate through. So uh, right now I'm going to start with a zero degree rotation. Actually, let me just uh, maybe a, a small angle, so I can see if it's uh, maybe like I don't know. I'll just go up like a couple degrees. So in order to do this rotation. Um, uh, again, it's the, this is the trans, transformation menu. Um, reflection is a congruence transformation. Um, a rotation is a congruence transformation. And a translation, translate is a congruence transformation. Those three uh, move things around on the plane without distorting or changing their size and, and, or changing their shape. It preserves shape and size. So let's go ahead and do this uh, rotate around a point. So I'm going to rotate this polygon. So I clicked it around this point. Uh, it didn't work. Let me try it again. Uh, rotate. So I'm going to select the object to rotate. Oh dear. I didn't like that. Let me try it again. Rotate this object around this point. And now it's asking for an angle. So what I like to do is delete everything there right don't leave the degree symbol don't leave anything and come over here and give it the name of the angle now this slider that I made was called alpha and it's in degrees so I'm going to say use alpha and then OK and you can see it, it changed it slightly right and in fact if I, I grab the arrow the move tool I can now move this over and you see as I move it right there's a spot in there where I can get this to not quite line up uh, one of the things is I noticed that this slider, it's small. It's a small length and it represents 360 degrees. You can go into the slider and you can change some of its properties. Let me let me move this up here higher so you can see it. So, oh. Uh, anyways, if you if you right click on the slider and you go to Object Properties, um, there's something that says the width of it. Yeah, this is only 180 pixels. So I'm going to make it 500 pixels and watch what this does. So it just made the slider so that it is a lot longer and it's still only representing 360 degrees but I have a lot more control over it now. Um, I'm able to move it in much smaller increments, right? So, and see there's a full circle and back around that. But I need to move it about, uh, I don't know how many degrees, somewhere, actually it looks like it was right there, somewhere around around 23 degrees. So in order to map the original, this blue triangle onto this green one, what did we do? We did a reflection across this line and then we translated by a vector. This point, the, the entire thing was translated by this vector, which basically moved this point to here and this point to here and then this point to here. And then finally I did a rotation about this particular point. So I can see because there is a mapping from this triangle to the green one that they're indeed congruent. Um, all of these transformations um, preserve, preserve uh, shape and size. So I can say that uh, this particular triangle is congruent to, I have to do the right order right, boom to boom to boom is congruent to boom to boom to boom. 